my backyard with Bob Lance um, and Jody Turner. And we are longtime residents of Keene. Now I live in Swansea. It's a little bit different, but it's still I consider myself part of the region. So today what we're going to talk about, Bob, is Keene and how the main street has changed. Now, today, this is only a half hour show and I have to keep reminding myself of these things, but we're only gonna focus on this side of Main Street and Roxbury Street. So Bob has been doing a lot of research. Um, if you tuned into a show previously, he talked about all of the, the ads and the newspaper clippings and different things that he's got. So Bob, where do we start? Mm, probably over by the police station or just beyond. Okay, all right. So the police station, This we're kind of looking at when we were in like junior high, right? Right. So this was a long time ago. <laughs> but junior high, okay, so we had the police station, which was really nice, I thought, you know, having the police station downtown and, and things like that. Then, let's see, what was next? Um, there was a, uh, like, Max Cut, right, was it? Or? Uh, it was Square Drug. Square Drug, okay, was Square next. Drug. Yeah. And then I remember Jean's Pastry, Exactly. Um, Jean's Pastry was out on West Street at one time. Yes. But then they moved downtown. That was like in the 80s, I think. Um, they had like the best donuts. If you've never had a Jean's Pastry donut, you don't know what you're missing. But those were awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, Johnson's Drug. Johnson's Drug that, Store. I remember that. My, we've spent plenty of time in there with my, my brothers and I all having to get cough syrup, that great tasting, grapey kind of cough syrup. Do you remember that? I don't know. I never had that. No? Okay. Only right. secrets. <laughs> that was what your parent, your parents gave you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, this stuff was really good, so you don't know what you were missing on that either. I missed out. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, uh, mm. the little folks shop. I used to get, my mom used to go there and buy all of my Easter stuff there. So I would have gloves and hats. I know it sounds really queer now, but, but anyway, it's just the way it was. You know, that's what we did. And we'd go to church and we'd do all of the stuff. And those are my memories of that little section. Do you remember any of the other parts on that area there? Well, yeah, the little folk shop, very vaguely, and along with a handful of Vitalis, you know. <laughs> I got through it somehow, I survived. Those, the people but. that ran that store, they were, they looked like they, they should have been like from New York City. Do you remember them? Uh, no, so, I, I She don't. was a tall lady with glasses, I think, and her husband was a little shorter. I liked going in there. They were always very nice, but anyway. Okay, so let's see. We've gotten around, let's see. Now, Keene Savings Bank. They had that nice mural um, that was on the inside of the, the, Barry, the bank. Barry Faulkner mural was right, inside. Right, right. I don't know if it's in there still or not. Do you know? Uh, it's on display somewhere else. Yeah, I think. okay. I think that yeah, I'm glad that they were able to save that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, again, junior high. Let's see. So, we traveled all over Keene because that's what we could do back then. Because Exactly. By, was, by it, bicycle. <laughs> right, right. I mean, that's how we did it. We never had rides. We, we walked. We rode our bikes pretty much everywhere. So, let's see. We're going to go down Roxbury Street now. So Roxbury Street, as you turn down, what was, was it Jids? Um, Bocher and Grout. Oh, Bocher and Grout, okay. probably. The next one? Uh, there was a laundromat there. Snowflake there? Laundry was wow. uh, right where the entrance to the uh, apartments are uh -huh. now with the glass front. Oh, really? And just beyond that was Bocher and Grout. Uh -huh. And then Jids, the little cigar oh, store. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let me just back up on Bocher and Grout. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I mean, I have so many memories, uh, great memories, and I'm sure you do too. With a, with a wooden shoe sizer. Yeah, 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 and you had to walk up steps. It would not be handicapped accessible. Right. But those metal steps that you had to walk up, but you kind of felt like you were walking up into heaven to the shoe store. <laughs> <laughs> and they had shoes everywhere, and that's where almost every year my grandfather would bring me for school. I'd get to go in with my grandfather only and go and buy my school shoes. That was, I mean, these are memories that you can't, you can't forget when, exactly. when you have things like this. Yeah. All right, then let's see, the Y. Yep, the Y. Do you remember when the Y was the original Y? Yeah, I used to go in there, um, I think after school and sometimes on weekends yep. and play ping pong and pool, yep. probably with Rick even yep. Yep. Uh, at that point. And do you remember the buzzer to get into the pool? Uh, I didn't go in the pool. We oh, had no. a pool at the house. Oh, so of course, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I didn't go to the pool very often. Yeah. In school, we had gym class in the old pool. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I do remember the buzzer. In Jim, yeah. was it Jim Wilson? He was the um, the director, I think, at that time. Uh -huh. But he was like a staple item, always there, all the time. And yeah. he was the the all around yeah. person that ran the place, I think, yeah. at the time. Yeah. So then after, so um, let's see. So the Y building now has been sold. 
and they're going to do some renovations and things like that. Uh, yeah, think? I don't really know. I haven't yeah. kept up on that. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, um, I mean, the new Y is beautiful. Uh, that's yeah. out in West Keene now. But, um, you know, it's just sad to see, you know, a building like that sitting there. And, and also the middle school. Look at the middle oh, school, yeah. you know, that, like so many memories of that, you know, going up and down those stairs. Again, exactly. very handicapped accessible. But those metal, those hard metal steps. Oh, and I was in like eighth grade. I broke my leg. I had to walk up and down those steps during all the classes. That <laughs> is a memory that I will not forget because it was no just a, a real pain. But, you know, now kids all have elevators and, and different things like that. God. Anyway, OK, so let's hit the other side of the road. Um, let's see. Let's start with the A&P grocery store. A&P. Yeah. Yep. Coffee yep. grinders at the checkouts. Right. And they had those wheels. They had those the wheels that you could roll the, the roll like, dog food outside. out on. And yep. That was so cool. I can just remember that. Yep. And they had those out in, in West Keene, too. Grand Union Yeah, as Grand well. Union had those, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let's see. What else was there? I think that was it for A&P. Yeah, A&P. There was nothing else in that direct spot. Um, let's see. There was a, a lawyer's office. Yep. Uh, on the corner of uh, the side street there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Originally, the liquor store was where Abishan's is now. Well, it's not Abishan's anymore either, though. Yeah, right. Because Abishan's, Abishan's just went out there. Now, though. Yeah. So, in that building, though, it's right beside Hannah building. Grimes. It was originally the liquor store, yeah. and then it became R&R &R Jewelers. Yeah. Yeah. And then it became Abishan's, right. and now it became nothing, I guess. Well, who <laughs> yeah. knows? It's opportunity for, for somebody. Exactly. Yeah. And then, of course... Junie plays those Sportorama. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you know, like, you know, you go to, to some of these other box stores now, and it's just not the same. You know, you don't get the not service. There's a couple of stores in Keene that you still get the service from, you know, yeah. and it's it's very personal and it's great. But, you know, like when you went to Junie Blaisdell, you always had one of the family probably waiting on you. And they all knew you. Uh, yes. I mean, my dad had a store right around the corner. Right, until we moved right. Down, but Still, it was a lot more personal yeah, than it yeah. probably will it's ever be. It's just the way it was. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> remember the wigwam socks? I don't know if you remember those. I and do we remember had to have the... uniforms for, for um, gym yeah, class. I thought, Did the boys have to wear uniforms? Not, not in my time. Yeah. I think we just had shorts, just um, generic black shorts and a white t-shirt. Girls had to wear uniforms. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, they I, were the ugliest looking I, thing. I heard some of the old school, like 50s and 60s one, where they had these big bloomer kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, these were, these were like, it just came back to my memory. These Almost were blue like and stretchy. They, they were blue and stretchy. They were shorts, and it, the shirt was um, together with it, and they had a, a waistband that was elasticized. Honestly, the ugliest thing that you've ever seen. But anyway, they don't do that anymore. OK, so. Jeannie Blaisdell. Let's keep going. I don't know. I don't remember that many stores on the other side. When I was very young, um, it was the Star Restaurant. I believe it was George Stavro uh -huh. um, who started that. And um, then there was a, uh, a deli. Uh -huh. um, I almost thought it was called Jimmy's, where Audio Lab is now. And they had all the classic sort of corned beef and uh, sandwiches mm -hmm. and things like that, yeah. and all the sandwiches lifted, listed above the counter. Don't um, you miss that? I do. You yeah. know, I used to go around, and I, that was my my errand place for the staff. Right. Well, and it was right around the corner it from was, your dad. It was. So I was always getting coffees and things to go. Right. Right. And going around the corner yeah. for. Them. So now your dad's was it was Lance Jewelers. Now, it, how, which store was that in? It's now? in Moe's. Uh, in Moe's. The clothing okay. Store. Yep. Yeah, Eight Main Street. Yep. Yep. I yep. remember that. Oh, just because you know. When it was wedding time, we had to get our dishes and you know, pick register. out our rings yeah. and different mm -hmm. things. So I remember going in there. It was always beautiful. Um, it was always very relaxed and everything was always clean. It was just Thanks spectacular. Thanks to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned it um, last time, I think, on the other show, but you used to do the, the bracelets for... I did the, all, most of the engraving. Yeah. Uh, even when I was a little kid, I did it just because yep. I always needed something to do. If, yeah. if not... I'd bribe my yeah. dad into buying, you know, uh, springing for a model at Woolworths or something yep. and go down yep. to the basement and do yeah. that. Yeah, because the, mm -hmm. like then you mentioned Woolworths, but there was Jupiter's. Mm -hmm. And so, the, you know, that was a, With the classic a great place to go. Creaky floors. I know, but they're all wood, you know? They yeah, were all exactly. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had, you know, mm. as you went into these stores, they had this little ramp that you would go up. Probably, I would think, to keep the water out, you know, and... Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I think so. But not a lot of them had steps, you know. Right. Even back then, they had ramps. Okay, so let's see. Jupiter's, um, 
Amston Shoe Store. The Amston Shoe Store. I love that short too. I mean, again, they had the boxes up on the walls and everything. It was just family, you know, yeah. the same people there the all same, the time working. The same guy, his name, I think his name was Walter Loisel. Uh huh. Worked there till he was nearly in his 90s, yeah. if I'm, I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. I, I don't remember exactly. Yeah. I think he was 88 when he was still there. Yeah, yeah. Just amazing. Wow. And, so are you guys keeping up with us here? <laughs> okay, so, all right. So then uh, Amson Shoe Store, good nose, with the, the shoots that came up and took your money and brought it back down. That was this, so cool to watch. My, uh, my friend has recently um, started working there again, and he was told to go clean out a section of the basement, and he found the blueprint for the whole layout of the pneumatic system. Yeah. And how it works, and how the canisters work, yeah. and the instructions. Yep. So I've, I've never I'm seen that anywhere else. I'm to get some pictures of that. Yeah. He's going to get them yep. for me. Again, I hope you remember this. If you don't, ask your parents or your grandparents, and they'll explain it to you as well. All right. So then, uh, Endicott Johnson's also was Imports Plus at one yes. time. Yes. Later on, it was Imports yep. Plus. Yep. And Imports Plus at one time was around the corner on Roxbury Street. Right. Right. And then they got into a larger building, and right. then they got into all kinds of different things. You never knew what they were going to have: coffee or dishes or whatever. Right. Okay. So then, mm. Woolworths. Of course. Pop the balloon and Pop get the a special. For a Sunday. Yeah. 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 Um, let's see, they had the counter there, um, so you could go there and have lunch and, and different and things the, like that. That was fun. Goldfish in a bag. Yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so then, uh, okay, the big building um, next to that was New England Telephone. New England Telephone, yep, mm -hmm. yep. And so now that's down the, the street now. They, they must have consolidated somehow. Yeah, it, it originally was on um, uh, Washington Street. Right. Uh, almost across from the middle school. Yeah. Um, and then they got the big sort of corporate building at that time. Right. And that was huge back then. It was. Yeah. It, was it was the whole building. And, they had, and the offices are all upstairs. So right. It was the whole thing. Right, right. So, wow. Mm. Just, you know, all these things that are coming back into my head. Okay, then uh, we're coming down here. Okay, now we had, what is the quality shop first? Quality shop. And then the Melody shop? Was the Melody shop right next to the quality shop? Uh, yeah, I believe trying, so. Or was it over at here? One I can't point, remember. It might have been over here. At one point it was the Bell shop, but I think that was down here. <laughs> at one point, the bell shop was in one of these storefronts. I That's right. Was the, the bell shop a ladies' clothing store? It was, okay. yeah. Yep. Okay. So backing up just a little bit, um, you we had, um, what was it, David's? David's, David's cigar, cigar store. shop. Okay. And they had the peanuts and the, the hot roasted peanuts. Yes. You can always smell from yep. the outside. Yeah. 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 And then <clears throat> Mr. Pizza's. Exactly. Okay. So we have to talk to you a little bit about Mr. Pizza's. We found out today when we were going to shoot this show that we lost a really wonderful person who was a, a strong member of our community, um, Mike Blastos. Um, I did not want, I'm getting teary-eyed. I, I don't know why, but you know he was he such a big part of the community. was a huge the, part the of the team. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Aside from being uh, at the pub 47 years, seven yeah. days a week, yeah. uh, well into his 80s, still working there. Yeah. Um, he was the longest standing mayor. Yeah. That uh, was another thing. Uh, but he always gave so much. Yeah. And he had the very exacting standards as well. Right. Which is something that's starting to fall off a little yeah. bit these yeah. days. Yeah. Well, you know, again, he's community. He's old town, old time, you know, service. It was great. And family oriented. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Right. right. So thank you, Mike, for helping us thank along you, Mike, with everything. Thank you, Mike, for all that, your years. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on. We've just got a few more to go. Um, was this Cheshire County Savings Bank? What was this? I can't remember. Uh, Keen, Keen Cooperative. Keen Cooperative. Okay. So Keen Cooperative is where TD Bank is downtown now. Mm -hmm. And then that was Melody Shop, where Clark Morton is. Exactly. Okay. Yep. So the Farinas, um, they Ma had the shop Mario there. Mario Farina. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was, you know, great. That's where all of us kids, when, um, did you ever go there for musical instruments? I don't know. Um, I shopped at uh, Knowles, okay. I think, uh, Knowles Music Way up on Washington Street right, back right. then. And back then it was like a one-shot deal. My dad actually bought a drum set from uh, his friend's son, mm -hmm. uh, who was Al Thrasher, oh, another key yeah. person. Yeah. And um, so I really had what I needed. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember going to the Melody Shop because that was where you could buy records. You know those round things that you put on a, a record player? <laughs> 
<laughs> no eight tracks then even, just records, that was it. So, um, you know, I remember going there and picking up records, uh, probably um, the Bee Gees maybe, or uh, let's see, what else? Um, that Sunshine Band. Um, oh, Rick and I were more into Alice Cooper, I think. Oh, Alice Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> you know you were. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's, you know, it's funny because really, I mean, we come from different backgrounds yeah, like yeah. you're you've got a very musical background I've got a little bit of more of a sporty background but right, you know right. so we see things differently that we used yeah. to come downtown to well see. I tried you know but unfortunately my sports career amounted oh. to Lucas without the slow clap you know so <laughs> and mine for music I started out on clarinet I couldn't play it in a couple weeks so I gave it up darn what was I thinking anyway okay so you got the music side all right so let's continue on so we had the melody shop and then what else did we have down here I uh, let's see. Um, I know we had Charlestown Mill. Charlestown at Mill the very end. was at uh, where the Bagel works, works and the Works now yep. is. Mm -hmm. um, I have a picture of that that yep. I. Um, Toy City at some point moved oh, downtown. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, down in that block yep, next I to think, Good Fortune. I right, right. I think where the Ultimate Tan kind of place is. Right, right. There. right. Yep. yep. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, isn't it amazing to look at all the changes that Keen has gone through? You know, we have the largest Main Street, and you wouldn't know it now so much because you've got trees, you've got a median. The widest paved Main Street at one point, and then right. they put it, it was a lot of controversy when they put the medians in the right. middle. You used to just park there, but there was no right. rhyme or reason. Right. I don't even think there were lines then. You just knew where to go. Right, right. And then they imposed the meter system, and then it all changed. Right. And, but. Yeah, but look, I mean, when you look at it, it's, it's beautiful. It is a little rainy today, but it is a beautiful, um, layout. Sorry. You know, you've got trees now. In the spring, when the flowers are blooming, it's beautiful. Everything is white flowers, and you know, it's just it's just nice. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, how many how many main streets do you go into and see something as nice as this? You know, they try, but nobody can be as good as Keen, right? Hey, they That's can hilarious. try. They can try. <laughs> yeah. All right. One more place that I wanted to mention is, um, let's see, the the pizza place down here that used to be um, uh, 176 Main. I don't think that that was a, a, a restaurant when we were growing up. Um, it was Peter Christian's just, oh, that's right. just that's before 176 Main. That's what I remember it. Yeah. But before that, I'm, I really don't recall. Yeah. Um, there was a gas station where Cumbies is now. Uh -huh. It was a, a Texaco station. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think. No, there was, no, two, it was a, a, yeah, gulf, a gulf there was station. Two, there was first. two gas stations. There was there. a gulf station first. Yeah. And the Texaco station was on the other side. That was. Skip Howard's dad's place. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> actually, if you think about it, there was three gas stations because there was one on this side and two on that side. Right. Because when they put Cumbies in, they took all out the in, other gas station. All in one block. Right. I know. Can you imagine if they had had a fire? Like, poof. <laughs> wow. It was Goodyear. Which Goodyear, yes. One year, yep. uh, I have a very distinct memory when they had the Spirit of America uh -huh. and uh, a lot of the race cars. I think the Spirit of America was the record holder at the time. It was. Like built by aircraft manufacturers, yeah. um, twenty-five thousand pounds, uh, twenty-five thousand horsepower. I yeah. believe it was yeah. incredible. But I thought that was the greatest thing ever oh, at the of time. Of course, <laughs> I know we're kids. You know, the blue flame. That's another one they had down there. You're a guy. Didn't get enough of that. <laughs> hey, you know. Well, this is cool. At least I don't so, ramble about football yet. No, I. <laughs> I just move it. So. Tell me a little bit more about what you've been doing lately. You're going to do some interviews, and you've been on Facebook quite a bit with things about Keen. Yeah, you know, I started um, uh, just about four months ago at the end of April, and there was about 150 members on that page, and now there's over 2,200, so I'm a wow. taken aback. I, yeah. I'm not, I never expected it. I just, yeah. It just kind of fell into my lap, so right. I'm just... Yeah. So what you um, post, did you post, um, like old advertisements, yeah. old captions with, um, you know, pictures of Yeah, people. I got I got four boxes um, of newspapers that... Do you need an assistant? He'd like an assistant. He could organize things for him? <laughs> That's what I do need, <laughs> really, but that, that takes all my time, just sifting through so many. Right. I'm going to eventually, um, I'm going to uh, save what I've already scanned in case somebody else, in case they want to take a look. Right. There's tons of articles still. Right. And you know, scanning them is a good thing because you never know. You could have a fire Once and they're gone, boom, they'd be gone. They're gone. Right. So Just like everything else. If it's gone, it's gone. It's not coming back. Exactly. Yeah. But, it's, you know, it's okay to remember the past as long as you don't plan on living there. 
That's the way I always say. <laughs> I know. It's, you know, it's, well, sometimes I think, you know, I would love to go back and live a day, you know, back when it was simpler time and, you know, but then look at all that we have now. I mean, there is a balance there. You know, sure. I don't, I don't have a dryer because I, I, I say, no, I'm not going to have a dryer. I'm going to, I am going to hang my clothes up because what, that's not such a bad thing, you know? Do you know how to hang your clothes? Absolutely. I, <laughs> I was the clothes thing king for yeah. quite a while. I, <laughs> I love doing that kind of stuff. But, you know, there's a lot of things that we can go back to that aren't going to hurt us. You sure. know, like having our own gardens, you know, things that we used to do when we were kids. I mean, when we were kids, I don't know if you guys did, but we had a huge garden in our backyard. We didn't, actually. So. My, and my mom was busy being the secretary. She yeah. worked at the Grange for many years. Right and sa actually sang at WKBK live commercials uh -huh. uh, before the advent of tape. So That's funny. That's so funny. Direct to wax cylinder is what I used to kid her about. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyway, but the point is for this whole show is think about where we've been, where we've come to, how we've gotten there. Talk with your, your kids, talk with your grandparents, talk with your relatives, friends. It's so important to remember the past and we're not gonna go back but that's something to remember again, that you can never go back. If you've missed it, that's it. So try to make the most of it. What do you think, Bob? I think that this is all overwhelming, but I like <laughs> it. I kind of like it, it's fun. I know, it is, it is. Well, you know, I, it makes me feel like a kid. You know, it makes me feel oh, yeah. like I'm not as old as I am because it seems like just yesterday that we were riding down, we could ride on the, on the um, the sidewalks then and we'd have our little cards in the wheels and to make it sound like an engine and oh, yeah. you know we were just doing like kid stuff you know it was fun so, I yeah. won't mention when Rick and I knocked the uh, Salvation Army bucket over with our bikes but that's so tough okay well today we've been in my backyard and I'm really glad that Bob has been my my guest um, if you're interested in more information about in my backyard you can email us and the email address is in my backyard ch8 at gmail.com and we'll get back to you give us your ideas we're happy to do it this is uh, all out of our pocket it's there's no sponsors here so far and um, so we can talk about whatever we want um, but I do like to keep it about keen um, agriculture gardening the environment and then history I just I love history and you'll see a lot more shows on Swansea history as well because you know I lived there and I love it so keen and Swansea we'll go outside but just let us know if you have any information that you'd like to share okay Thanks, Bob. Thank and you. Great. We'll see you again in my backyard.